I wanted to see what kind of coffee the cheapest Nespresso maker would make. So I bought this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. You might like coffee. I know I like a little coffee in the morning, but sometimes I need it to get me through the afternoon. And so I bought this. It is the Citus coffee maker and it is an espresso coffee maker and what i loved about it at least from the listing is that it was the cheapest one i've ever seen and so if you're looking for an espresso maker for the ease of making espressos or just americanos or long blacks or whatever they call them from australia looks like this box has seen better days well you can pick this up because this nespresso maker not only will shoot out a cup of coffee quickly for you hopefully before we get into the coffee maker the one thing i want to mention here is that it will use the nespresso pods like this this is the first generation and the reason that i like this over the second one which uses those little round pods is that i don't think that there's any intellectual property infringement anymore to making your own nespresso pods on the first generation because in the second generation they started putting barcodes on them and you can only run the pods that have those barcodes through them so they're all very expensive truly the Vertua line is like 50 cents to two bucks a pod so that means you're kind of making gourmet coffee at home but you're also paying gourmet store prices which is strange so with these i mean you can definitely get them from nespresso and they're a little more expensive but there are a number of companies that make these in fact this one here was 20 bucks for a hundred capsules so now you're only 20 cents a coffee cup. And if you want to pick these up, I think these are pretty good. I'll put a link to those in the description below. But I was really interested in trying to find a coffee maker that would use these pods so I could just make myself a quick cup of espresso and pay as little out of pocket as humanly possible. All right, so here is the Nespresso maker itself. It has a three prong outlet on this side. As you can see, it's all black here. It's probably about the size of a toaster overall. It's just black plastic, but it's kind of glossy. It's reflecting a lot of light. And the construction and the materials and the way it presents itself is kind of low rent. You would kind of expect that from a $40 coffee maker. On the back here, we get a reservoir. So this reservoir will open up just like this and you take the top off fill this with water and then drop it onto the back right there looks like that would hold kind of a lot for espressos but for just hot water or regular coffees it's going to not go quite as far then on the front we have the spot where the pod will go in we have this little stand and catch basin right here so this will kind of slide on to this little post right there so you won't have any problems with drips and then what i want to show you up here on the top is this lever and this will open up there are some instructions right in there in case you need them but what this will do is you can see the cutout here fits the pod just like this so you would just slip that in and then push this down and that would press that pod up against a little waffle on the front puncture the bottoms and now you're ready to go so you put that in push it down like this and then on the back here we have three buttons now i don't remember these these are like something something lungo and of course we always say the words for sizes in italian because it makes us seem cultured but they should just be small medium and large and a lot of times i like the large you know but there's a strategy to use the small so that you get the kind of the first brew out of the pod and then just add water because obviously to get the lungo it's just going to add more water but what they say is on the tail end of the brew the brew gets a little more bitter because it depends on how lazy you are i don't know that my taste buds are that cultured to taste the, that bitterness of the last few millimeters of water but maybe it's true so you can definitely do that now the question is with this guy how does the coffee taste i'm gonna get this thing cleaned up now we're gonna try it out. All right, I have run this a couple times just to get some water through there to clean it up. We're gonna take the Nespresso pod right there. It's pretty self-explanatory how that drops in. We're going to push this down there. Now it's gonna compress that guy and puncture it. Gotta put a little pressure right there. And now I'm gonna use this clear glass because I want you to see what it's dispensing. Now I also wanna show you that on the back here, we get those three buttons and they light up. They're just capacitive. So I'm gonna go with the small one. Just give it a little tap like that. And now we will get it starting to brew. It's pretty quick. When it first powers on, I think it takes a minute to heat up some water in there. So if you do tap it and it doesn't come out right away, just give it a second. The lights will stop flashing. And then once they're solid, you just tap it. And that is the small right there. It's basically a small shot of espresso. Look at all that crema on there. Just wanted to show you that this is basically a great way of getting Nespresso's quickly and cheaply. And if I lift this up now, 
Where did it go? The Nespresso pod disappeared. It's actually not in there. We're getting some steam coming out of there. And the secret is if we grab this tray and just pull it out, it falls into this little receptacle right there. So that's where those Nespresso pods go. So you can just throw them away, just throw in another one, or just hit the button again. What I actually like about this is if you did want to make yourself a long black or something, I could just close it up. I haven't put in another Nespresso pod, but if I just hit this again, it does actually brew there just water coming out of there. So it will add that water. So if you want it watered down, actually make yourself a cup of coffee instead of espresso, you can do that. And I love the fact that it doesn't require a capsule in there that it says, I'm freaking out because you haven't put a capsule in. So anyway, if you are looking for the cheapest Nespresso maker that works on those original first gen cups, this one is it. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.